My camera didn't record the first part of this video. I'm testing out the Revlon Illuminant Skin Tint again over top of serum and not over top of moisturizer. Let's go. Okay, that was weird. My power just went off. That feels really nice. It just feels like I put on a nice moisturizer. It doesn't feel like I have too much on like the last time. So I purchased the L'Oreal True Match Serum Concealer and I tried it before. I'm not sure if I showed it in a video or not. I can't remember to be honest. I don't know if I posted it. I got it in the color 2N. It's so hard to pick your color when you can't open the package. It's gonna be too light. I wonder if I used a color corrector underneath and then used that to brighten. Let me see what I have. I really wanna keep this all in the drugstore family. I have this one. This is the L'Oreal True Match Eye Cream Concealer. Focus. There we go. <laughs> Let's see what this looks like. Far too dark and yellow. Maybe if I mix the two, I know that doesn't give you a true feel for what it is. You know what? I want to show you the texture of this, so I'm going to use it on its own. Watch it not be too light. Okay, and then I'm just going to warm it up with my finger. Hmm. My zit. Yeah, I don't like it. I have a lot on my hands right now, but I wanna show you what I'm doing. So one is far too yellow and one is too light. I'll mix the two and hopefully get something in between. Yeah, that yellow is very yellow. What color is that? C3 to C4, I don't know who I thought I was. I think that's better. I'm actually gonna pull it down here a little bit because I have some redness on my cheeks and the yellow tone will counteract that. And the reason that works is because this area is actually a little bit violet and yellow is the opposite of purple. Let's see if that will cover this area a little bit more. I just texted Nurse Chelsea. She's the one that looks after my skin for me. I'm noticing that my skin just needs a little boost. Maybe it's just my mood that needs a little bit of a boost. And when I treat myself to something like that, I feel better. So I don't know if I'm gonna go for a microneedling treatment maybe. She'll let me know what I should do. And there's a little bit of redness right there. Okay, let's play around with these eyeshadows. I forgot I had this. This is a NYX Shadow and Liner Primer, Ultimate Base. I think I've tried this before and I probably didn't like it. I really like something that has more coverage because of all my purple veins on my lid, but I'll try it again. I like trying products more than once. I don't wanna give anything a bad review. I actually don't like talking bad about anything. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. While that's setting, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I used this in my live stream last night. This is the cover, yeah, my eyes feel sticky. Hmm, I don't like that feeling. I almost feel like you could see it. Yeah, it does feel sticky, I mean, Okay, maybe I won't do my brows first. I wanna get some powder on there because it feels weird. So I got the eyeshadow quad. What color is this? Do I even know? I think I got one that's matte and one that has a shimmer to it. Oh, it's upside down. There. Yeah, this one has a shimmer and this one's a matte. So yeah, they're sticky, my lids. Oof, I don't like that. Okay, I'm gonna fix that problem. I'll try to use all the Beely brushes today because they're more affordable and they're on Amazon. I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder and make my eyes feel better. Wah, I don't like that feel at all. Anyone else try this before and have the same feeling? Oh, that feels better, okay. Easy fix, just wasn't something that I expected. While I'm here, I'm gonna put some of that powder on my brows. Okay, there is definite creasing happening here. So before I go on, I will set with powder there too. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. Sorry, I can't stick to the Beely brushes. I need something really nice and light and fluffy, so I gotta use what I have. Oh, that's too much. Let's press that in. Hopefully that will keep it. So going into this one, I'm just gonna lay that color all over.
Oh, that's going on nice actually. Eyeshadow could be as easy as that. You could stop here and put mascara on and go, honestly. That's pretty, just like that. Okay, same thing on the other side. Wow, these are really nice and smooth so far. Look at that, that went on so easy. How much did I pay for these? And I'm going to just flick it up a little bit to give it a little bit of a lift. I'm gonna use the same brush, same color. Now I've got a smaller Beely brush and I'm gonna go into this color right here and take it on the outer corner. Somebody on my live stream last night said that they love a halo eye. Maybe that's what I should do. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. That means I'm gonna leave the center of my eye lighter than the outer and inner corner. If you hear something, my cleaners are here today. I love Fridays. My house never looks so clean. <laughs> and then as the week goes on, it just gets messier and messier. I often make the mistake of going too dark in here. When I do that, I always end up taking it off. Just lightly, a little bit, and that's it. Okay. Where are these made from? Okay, it's a botanical and vitamin infused cosmetics. We believe that what you put on your body is as important as what you put in it. It's clean, conscious, and cruelty free, made with antioxidants like vitamin A, C, D, and E, and powerful botanicals like anti-inflammatory green tea, soothing aloe, and energizing ginseng. Affordable price, luscious colors. Does it say where it's made? Pop-up window, every time. So far, I can't find where it's made. Free US shipping. Oh, this is taking a while. Give me the facts. Okay, while Palladio is sold worldwide, our facility only ships to the United States and Canada at this time. Most of their products are gluten-free. They do not test on animals. Hmm, I feel like it might be US made. Does anyone know? Let's get back to business. Darker on the outer, darker on the inner. Really easy to blend. Did I get the light spots even? Some people may go as far as putting a concealer there. I don't know that I will. It's a lot of makeup for my eyelid. Let's just keep it like that. Another Beely brush. I'm gonna use a lighter color and go right there. I'll probably use a shimmer from the other palette. Bring that right up and right up there too. Just blend the edges. The same darker color, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna pull that darker color in here, but I do wanna outline the outer corner. These aren't all shimmer, I thought they were. Let me swatch them for you. I'm gonna use this one, which is a shimmery color, but it's not too light. I don't want the contrast to be really strong. I 
and I'm gonna go over the edges so that there's not a stop and a start. I went a little far here. There. How's that look? Is it even? I think so. I think I'm gonna go into this color, the darkest, and create a little bit more depth right at the lash line. And that's it. And a little bit right there. and an empty brush right along the edges to make sure that I don't see a stop and a start. I like it. Now for the brows. I know I like this. I used it last night in a live, but I wanna continue to show some products here. I'm gonna speed through this. You've seen me do my eyebrows before. Oh, I tried a mascara last night. I didn't get to put drops in my eye today because I can't find them. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, so this eye is drooping a little bit. I can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but I can tell. I also tried a mascara last night in the live, and I wanna try it again in the daylight with a lot less makeup on. Last night in the live, I did a very smoky eye, so I really couldn't see the mascara. This is Cover Girls Clean Topia Mascara, and it's black with a hint of blue. So I wanna see what it looks like. Okay, let's see what this hint of blue looks like. All right, second coat. Look at what I did. Did I have that on my finger? Oh my gosh, it's all over my nose. How long has that been like that? I hope it hasn't been there the whole time. It probably has. Goodness. If you could just talk to me while I do this, it would make filming so much easier. That's why I like lives, because if I was on a live stream with you, you would be telling me. Julie, you've got stuff on your nose. What am I gonna do for bronzer? Let me go to lips while I think about this. This is the Palladio Lip Stain. This is in the color Nude. I wanted to create a natural contour with this color or cheat my lips up. This is a nice natural lip. Now I put it over top of some lip balm. Nothing. Oh, that's good. The only thing coming off is my lip balm. I think the lip balm helped it not stick to the dry areas. You know, all that texture that's in there. That's good. I'm always down lower on this side. So let's go a little bit down lower there. Is that better? When I try to get it symmetrical, I always end up being sorry because then my, <laughs> my lips just kind of go bigger and bigger. Good enough. I might as well stick with Palladio. Oh, that's quite bright though. I have, mm, I have that one. I feel like this goes with my look better and I feel like that's too bright for the look I'm going for today. Or should I go brighter since all of this is muted? I don't know, let's put them beside each other. I also purchased the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in Pinky Promise. Hmm, I don't know. I can't decide. Okay, I've decided on the contour. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Wand. I am using a Real Techniques brush, and I'm just gonna tap that on. And then I'm just gonna use my fingers and tap it out. I'm gonna stick with Palladio. I'm a little nervous. I wish I had another brush like this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to mix a little bit of the highlight 
from e.l.f. I just want to diffuse that color a little bit. I feel like it's going to be too bright. I feel like that might be better. Ready? <laughs> yeah. It softened it a little bit. Makes me more comfortable. I like that. One day I'll show you what it looks like full go. <laughs> I was too nervous today. I'm gonna take a clean brush as I always do and go around the edges just to make sure it's blending together. I really stay away from this area though. I'm gonna use a little bit more of the original foundation, this one, and on that same brush that I just patted out the edge, I just wanna clean this area up a little bit. I don't want that blush to go too low. Lips and I'm done, I think. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is in the color, it's a number 900. I have no idea what it's called. Again, can't see. I like some new earrings. I need recommendations. All right, let's review. I like everything. The Revlon Illuminance Serum Tint is so much better without a heavier moisturizer underneath. So much better. So a light moisturizer or even a serum, depending on how dry your skin is, this alone feels like skincare and it really feels nice. Yeah, my skin just feels hydrated, not sticky. I can tell I have skincare on, but I like that feeling. Palladio eyeshadow, beautiful. I have nothing bad to say about it. I'm gonna play more with this palette, but so far both are beautiful. The lip stain is also really nice, love it. Mascara, I'm not sure about. I don't know, I can't really see the blue tint, but I can see it on the wand. Did I show you the wand? You can see that it has that hint of blue, which I prefer. This eye definitely looks better than this eye, but that's my fault. The blush color was a little scary for me. I have to check out what other colors they have. I'm excited to look at that. I think the blush mixed with the Halo Glow highlighter looked really pretty and just gives me that nice glow. CoverGirl brow worked perfectly. I have no complaints. I don't think I mentioned that I got the color soft blonde. Oh, it is soft blonde. I thought it was soft brown. Okay, well that looks nice. So soft blonde, number 720. Oh yeah, the concealer, yeah. I'm still on the fence with this. I can't judge this because it's not the right color. So I'll try to pick up the right color for you. And that's it, I think. Let me know if you have any questions. All the products are gonna be listed in the description box for you. They are affiliate links. If you're gonna buy it anyway, it helps if you use my links, but no pressure. I'm grateful you're here. If you're new to my channel, just a reminder that I go live on Thursday nights at seven o'clock EST and Sundays. It may vary on Sundays, but Thursday nights will always be seven o'clock EST. A group of women that you'll meet if you join us. They're amazing. I love them. We're forming a wonderful community here and I hope you can join us. If you can't join us, you can always see the live replay and yeah, that's it. I hope this video helps you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share with all your friends, ring the notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!